Hey, y'all, my friends. Welcome back to Tuesday with Tasha. I've surely missed you. And today we have such a fun book. Have you ever thought about what you want to do when you get older or ever had a really cool dream about it? Well, let's see what Daryl's dream is. Written by Daryl DMC McDaniels with Shawnee and Johnny Warfield and Adam Padilla. Illustrated by Tristan Tate. Daryl's Dream Daryl loved third grade. He especially loved music class and writing. Great job, Daryl, said his teacher as she handed back his poem. There was a big A-plus on it. You should recite this at the talent show. Really? asked Daryl. He was proud of his poem, but he wondered, was it really that good? After school, Daryl headed to the talent show sign-up sheet. He wrote his name at the very bottom. What do you think you're doing? said a boy named Charlie. What talent do you have? Daryl didn't know what to say. So he held up his poem. Wow, what a nerd, said Charlie. And you have the glasses to match? A girl named Denise joined in. Look, guys, Daryl's so weird with his stupid poems and his stupid A+. He's going to make a fool out of himself at the talent show. Everyone laughed. Daryl was so upset that he crossed his name off the sheet. By the time Daryl got home, he felt totally defeated. Mom, he said, I wish I didn't wear big glasses and get good grades. The other kids don't like me. Not everyone will like you, Daryl, his mom said. What's important is that you like yourself and you stay true to who you are. Daryl didn't agree. He ran upstairs to his room. I wish I could be someone else, said Daryl, as he fell asleep that night. Before long, he drifted off into a dream. Daryl's dream was amazing. He flew all the way through space and up to the stars. Hello, Daryl, said a voice that echoed all around him. Here, you can be anyone or anything you want. Just wish it. I wish those mean kids liked me, said Daryl. As you wish, said the voice. Suddenly, Daryl was big and strong. He was hanging out with the kids who'd made fun of him, but something was wrong. Daryl didn't feel like himself. He thought of another wish. I want to be something everyone likes, said Daryl, like the coolest sports car in the world. As you wish, said the voice. Poof! Daryl turned into a supercharged hot rod. He looked amazing. People stood around him and admired his shiny new finish. Then he heard a noise from above. Look, a helicopter, said someone in the crowd. It didn't take long before everyone forgot about Daryl. Wow, said Daryl. Even the best hot rod is in a helicopter. Guess I'd better wish for something else. Daryl thought for a moment before he had an idea. I wish to be the best version of myself. As you wish, said the voice. Suddenly, Daryl found himself inside a recording studio. There were instruments everywhere, and there was lots of fancy equipment. The walls were lined with golden records. Daryl looked at one of the awards and saw himself. In the picture, he was grown up. He still had his glasses, and he looked cool in them. Daryl was about to pick up a drumstick when he heard a loud ringing. His alarm clock! He was going to be late for school. Daryl rushed to get ready, but he took a moment to stop and look in the mirror. His glasses didn't look so bad after all. Ready for school? asked his mom. More than ever, said Daryl. He grabbed his poem and ran out the door. Outside school, Daryl saw the kids who had picked on him 
making fun of another smart kid. Stop that, said Daryl. You guys think you're so cool, but you aren't. At school, Daryl marched to the sign-up sheet and put his name back on it. I'm going to do my poem at the talent show, and I don't care what anyone thinks. That afternoon, it was time for the talent show. Daryl waited backstage for his cue. He put on a new hat, pushed up his glasses, and held on to his poem. He was very nervous. As he was waiting, the mean kids came backstage. You can't perform without your poem, said Charlie. He grabbed the paper from Daryl and ripped it up. Yeah, and you look silly in that hat, Denise chimed in. All the kids laughed. Just when Daryl thought it couldn't get worse, he was called to the stage. Daryl froze in the spotlight. What was he going to do? He thought of what his mom had told him. I can do this. I just need to be myself. Daryl took a deep breath and grabbed the microphone. He rhymed about reading comic books and drawing superheroes. He rhymed about loving school and making friends. He even rhymed about how one day he would go to college. The crowd was shocked. What a weirdo, someone yelled. But Daryl kept going. He rhymed about bullies and school. He rhymed about what his mom had taught him. He even rhymed about his glasses. As the words flowed out of him, the crowd rose to their feet cheering. Daryl was finally being himself, and it felt amazing. After the show, Daryl ran into Charlie and Denise. Wow, Daryl, said Denise. I didn't know poems could sound like that. That was really cool. Me neither, added Charlie. Can you teach me how to write poems just like you? Daryl smiled. I'll help you, he said. But you shouldn't write poems like me. You should write poems like Charlie. Daryl McDaniels followed his dream and went on to become hip-hop pioneer DMC. He traveled the world spreading his personal style and message of love and confidence to millions. His glasses even became a symbol of hip-hop fashion. Daryl still loves music and continues to teach children to be themselves and follow their dreams. Oh my goodness, I love this book. If you don't know about DMC, ask your parents and they should tell you and show you all about him. He's a wonderful musician and I'm so excited he wrote this book to remind us that all you have to do is be yourself. And I know that I've said it before, but that's the best person you can be. There's no one like you, and that's the best part. I love this book. If you love this book as much as I do, and you love DMC, make sure you click the link in the description box so you can get a copy for yourself. And as always, please, please like and subscribe so we can keep reading amazing books together. I'll see you all next week on Tuesday with Tasha.